Hey Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I have a Bolo category video for you guys. This video is about Christmas Bolos. Christmas Bolo items, items that sell for big money, items to be on the lookout for. And I just recorded a Halloween video, so definitely go check my YouTube channel for that video because the vintage Halloween uh, category videos are some of my favorites and I actually have three of them. So definitely check those out. And we are going to get started here with some bolos. All right. The first item is this um, 1950s Noma Woolworth Christmas lights. And they work, guys. So what's cool about these is they're from the 1950s, number one. And check out the box. The box is still in pretty fantastic condition. The lights work. Super, super cool. Um, these sold for $100 with 59 bids in the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this, here we go, aluminum. I cannot say that word. Aluminum. Aluminum. I still feel like I'm saying it wrong. Anyway, it is a six foot stainless silver aluminum Christmas tree. It's vintage. These are a bolo, you guys. If you haven't seen them, the um, actual uh, branches go inside these sleeves right here, and then they go in the box. But these are really, really neat, and they are definitely a bolo. But most people know that they're worth money, so they're hard to pick up cheap. But definitely be on the lookout. If you find one cheap, buy it, buy it, buy it. This one sold for $305, and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is the Avon Countdown to Christmas Advent Calendar. Huge bolo, you guys. And if it has the mouse, it sells for even more. And if you just find the mouse, which looks like this, um, you can sell that separately for big money also. So um, I have a bolo category video on Avon items. Yes, I said Avon items. There are some big money bolos that are Avon so definitely check out that category video because those are things you can find at garage sales. People always have Avon at garage sales. So um, just go to my YouTube channel, search Avon, and you will find it. The next item that sold is this 1930s Santa. It's paper mache. It's a Christmas candy container made in England, and it sold for $168.50. Super, super cool and in really, really great condition. The next item that sold is this vintage Atlantic mold Christmas tree. Okay, so I will tell you, not all of these trees are created equal. Some of them are bread and butter. Some of them are just, you know, decent solds. And some of them are big money bolos. Um, I can't really tell you for sure why some go for more than others. Um, I'm definitely not a tree expert. But if you check out, um, gosh. It's Eddie Hodges and his wife um, collects these trees and they know a lot about them. And he has an awesome Facebook group. Um, it's the reselling research group. I think it is. Um, I can't remember the exact title of it, but if you guys go down below in the description of the video and you click on my Facebook group and join it, you can also private message me and I can get you the link. And I share his um, group in my group also. So you might be able to find it that way. But yeah, these um, Christmas trees, some of these ceramic trees go for big bucks. The next item is this vintage Holt Howard Christmas Santa face punch bowl. Oh, you know what, guys? Um, I have featured him many, many times because he's a bolo finder. If you put in Hodge... Podge in my YouTube search bar. That will take you into a video that I did on his store. And I think I have his Facebook group linked there. So that would be another way. Okay. So this vintage Holt Howard Christmas Santa face punch bowl with ladle. Super cool. This sold for $513, you guys. And this is what it looks like on the bottom. Holt Howard, 1962. How cool is that? I want to find one of these. This is on my I want to find list. I want to sell it too. I'm not keeping it. And the buyer paid shipping on that. 
The next item that sold are these vintage Christmas Santa figurines on skates made in Japan. I also have a Bolo category video on items made in Japan that sell for big money. Go check that out. Awesome. Awesome video. And um, made in Japan is, I, I love made in Japan items, but this sold for $102.50. And it looks like they're skiing on candy canes. Super cute little Santa Claus figures. The next item that sold is this Christmas tree color wheel. And I think these are used on the aluminum trees that I just showed you. Um, but these are also a bolo on their own. This sold for $152.50 in the buyer paid shipping. The next item is another made in Japan. Super cute. It's a vintage porcelain Wales Christmas girl with muff and gift Christmas decor. Um, this sold for $170.50, and I think it would have shown better if it wasn't sitting on red. Um, but that's just my opinion. The next item that sold are these adorable Lefton Bird Anthropomorphic. Anthro. Wait, Anthropomorphic. I don't know how to say it. Anthropomorphic. Pomorphic. I know what it means. It means that they have a face. See their face? It's a bird with like a human looking face. Because um, I have pumpkins that are anthropomorphic. <laughs> but these are uh, salt and pepper shakers and they're vintage and they went for big money. $265 with 34 bids and the buyer paid shipping. The next item that sold are these cute little 1950s decorated Christmas trees. Again, made in Japan. People use these for little displays. These went for $64 with 33 bids in the buyer paid shipping. The next item are these, um, it's one, sorry, this shiny bright, um, it says silver triple indent Christmas tree topper, turquoise and silver. And again, this is another item that really has a large range. They can go from bread and butter up to big money. I actually have one of these sitting in my garage that I need to list. But this one sold for $40 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item that sold, this is amazing. I just can't even take how amazing this is. It's a set of three vintage reindeer Christmas tabletop decor. And it says FAO Schwartz 1950s. And these are flocked. I probably would have used flocked in the title just because um, when I use flocked in the title, they seem to do better. I feel like that's a good keyword that people search. But you know what? I'm going to say that this seller did okay selling these for $2,550 plus shipping. The next item is this 1950s general plastics two-sided it's like a, a, a reef. I don't know if it's, is it blow mold material or is it plastic? I don't really know. I have no idea why it went for so much. It's kind of crazy. I really would like to know if anybody knows, please comment below. But this sold for $433 with 27 bids and the buyer paid shipping. The next item are these 3D diorama three inch glass scenic Christmas tree ornaments made in Italy. And these are really neat. Um, I have something similar to this that I need to list. I have three of them and they're ceramic, I believe, or porcelain. Mine are not as cool as these, but definitely the same idea. And uh, these are really neat. And these are glass, which is really fancy, but these sold for $217.50 and the buyer paid shipping. I love these. So cute. Made in Japan. I love everything made in Japan. There's such cool Christmas vintage cool stuff. Um, these sold for $160.50. They're in the original packaging, or two of them are, and they're new old stock vintage flocked Christmas ornaments, snowman, snow babies, pixie elves, and they retail for $1, guys. How cool is that? $160. The next item are these um, bubble lights. And these are not um, strung. These are just individual lights that um, need attached to something. And they still sold for $119.50 plus 
plus shipping. And it does say that they're tested. So maybe, I don't know how they test it. See, again, they need more pictures. So I don't know, maybe they plugged it into something. The next item that sold are these vintage mercury glass candy canes. Amazing. Sold for $202.50. Can anybody tell me how to identify if something is mercury? Because I find a lot of vintage ornaments, and I know that's a great keyword, but I don't know how to know if something is mercury. So if you guys can comment below and help me out and anybody else out that may have the same question, that would be greatly appreciated. The next item are these replacement bubble light bulbs. And it says they're working, but these are just the bulbs, you guys. How cool is that? These sold for $50 with 21 bids and the buyer paid shipping. And there you have it. I wouldn't even know how to do that or test it. The next item are these vintage reindeer. And these are soft plastic rubber made in Japan reindeer. I have sold these. The ones I have sold have not been this cool, but they are definitely a bolo. Um, these yellow ones are amazing. And the color on these are still fantastic. Sold for $125.50 with free shipping. The next item are these little elf on a shelf like knee hugger dolls. These are the vintage ones. I always pick up felt vintage elves. Um, a lot of them are bread and butter, but some of them can go for more. This one went for $31 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is so funny. He's a vintage 1950s W German paper mache Santa elf gnome. I'm not sure what it is either, but it's a candy container. How cute is that? And this sold for $152.50 and the buyer paid the shipping. The next item is more of these reindeer and uh, they are just so cute. Now these are made in Hong Kong, um, but again, vintage rubber plasticky reindeer some are rubber some are plastic i'm not sure what these are again i would have utilized more of the pictures i mean we get 12 photos i would have showed the underside of them i would have showed the behind area because when you're looking at vintage older things like this they can have like little scratches or defects so it's always good to show all sides of the items but they sold for $130 plus shipping. The next item, I love this. It's a vintage Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer wool Christmas sweater. It's child size. It's from the 1950s. What do you guys think other than it needs washed? <laughs> and it may be stained. I don't know, but it is so stinking adorable. Um, so cute. Uh, it sold for $632. And I want to see what they started this one at. Uh, seven unique bidders. They started it at $40. How I'm guessing that this seller was just like crap in their pants. <laughs> did I say crapping their pants? Sorry guys. I did. I said that. Um, I bet they were super excited <laughs> and you can see, um, uh, hold on, uh, right here that the top three bidders, um, or two bidders were in over a thousand feedback. So I'm guessing it probably got paid for. Let's go in to their feedback. I, I snoop around sometimes. Um, here it is, you guys. Thanks for the fast service. We'll buy from again. Super seller. Perfect. So look, it got paid for. That's one way you can go in. And if it's a big seller that has tons of stuff, you can use the search bar, eBay. And they started this not too long ago, really. Um, but yeah. So, and this um, seller only has like 100 feedback. So, let's see what else they have listed. Nothing else listed. So, and this is their only sold in the last 90 days. But, hey, you know, it's a good one. So, good for them. All right, you guys. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see you guys at the next video. Thanks for watching.